Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living OCG banless boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1200 ladder. The OCG got a fat-ass ban list, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to talk about it as all of these ads keep on popping up on YGL Organization. YGL Organization, please fix your dog water website. I used to love this website so much, and it's just gone so downhill with all of the ads. Like, I know you can use, like, an ad blocker, but with my luck, I'll download malware. I just have terrible luck like that. So, YGL Organization, fix your website, please, and thank you. Hugs and kisses from the Purely King. <laughs> Self-appointed. So, let's talk about the ban cards here. So, starting off right out of the gate, they are just swinging for the fences, ladies and gentlemen. Kashtira Fenrir is banned. Uh, Nani? So this card went from 3 to 1 in the OCG, and now they've just flat out banned it. Could we see this happen in the TCG? Honestly, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Fenrir on our next ban list went to either 1 or got banned, since this OCG banning kind of sets a precedent for that now. You know, Fenrir, debatably, is better than Pankratops, right? Generically, it's just so good. And if you've been keeping uh, track with the channel for a while, you'll know that when I first talked about Darkwing Boo Boo Stain, a.k.a. Darkwing Blast, I said that Fenrir is an amazing card. You know, it's not once per turn on the special summon. It can search for another copy of itself, so even if the one you summon dies, you have another one as a backup. If the opponent activates a monster effect, or even if it just attacks, targets any face-up card on the field and banishes it face down. You're attacking into the opponent's monster. Okay, use the effect of Fenrir, target that monster, banish it face down. Now you get a replay and you can attack direct for 24. It is one of, if not, the most powerful card in the simplified game state. Um, it's not a brick if you top deck it, because you can just drop it out, get a search, and you know move on with your day. So... Another hit to catch Tira, I don't think anyone's really going to complain about, to be honest. Um, yeah, rest rest in peace, Fenrir. It, uh, it should never come back. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Soulbreaker. Uh, this is because that there's been the Super Heavy Samurai FTK in the OCG. Um, so do keep that in mind. That's also why, like, Soul Piercers at 1. They did some different hits from the TCG. They didn't ban the fucking Link Monster, for one thing. Uh, Cyber Stein and Smoke Grenade of the Thief are banned. You know, as much as I would love to have Stein back in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, this just goes to show that it's one of, if not the most broken Yu-Gi-Oh! card of all time. Being able to pay 5000 to summon out any fusion from your extra deck, or has, as it used to say on the card, fusion deck. Uh, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, of course, just being a broke-ass card. Being able to rip cards out of the hand is never healthy. Um, not much to really say here. I mean, we've seen both these cards already be hit in the TCG. Uh, for the limited section, uh, Perform Pound Monkey Board. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Monkey Board is still banned here in the TCG, or it's at 1. Either way, I don't really think the Zark stuff out of Age of Overlord is really going to, like, make Perform a Pal, like, Pepe stuff in general all that good. You know, I think really Plush Fire is the one card that I think if all of the other, like, Pepe format stuff from 2016 were to come back, um... I don't think that really without plush fire, you have anything to worry about with the deck. Circular one, we saw this happen in the TCG. We already talked about Soul Piercer. MX Saber Invoker. Wow. So, wind ups, best deck now. No, I'm just kidding. Wind ups are garbage without uh, Zen Mighty at this point. Um, people like Robbie Cole were talking about how Invoker is like really broken, but I'm just like how like i don't know what exactly is hit in on zodiac in the ocg but i mean like is invoker really that broken still in 2023 like just off the top of my head i'm not thinking of anything outside of like wind up and zodiac lines um maybe like some rogue stuff will take advantage of it like you can't use it in purely all the purely stuff's fairy so i don't know so sleepy memory went to one ha <laughs> ha so the OCG said, okay, Konami of TCG, you hit Delicious Memory to 1, we're going to hit Sleepy Memory to 1. Um, I mean, it makes sense, because you got to keep in mind that the Noir Rank 2 that we get out of Duelist Nexus requires Sleepy Memory. Being able to draw multiple cards off the Sleepy is just dumb AF. Like, you can't tell me that drawing six cards is healthy, because, I mean, drawing six cards in the opponent's standby phase, potentially, and being able to get hand traps and stuff is just like like that that's basically like a max c if you think about it and if it's on a noir with five more materials then you can't even negate it like you have to you can't even draw them because it's in the standby so it, uh, yeah i mean i i get it like i i honestly would rather see sleepy memory be hit to one here in the tcg than delicious pot of prosperity and runic fountain to one runic fountain should have been at one a while ago um prosperity to one Honestly, I could see this happening in the TCG because you have to think about it. Uh, banishing six cards from your extra deck of your choice face down, especially in Kashtira, isn't a hindrance because you just get the cards back with a rise heart. 
And being able to get one of six off the top of your deck, I mean, basically, if that activation goes off, you're going to unbrick your hand. You know, we saw duality back in the day, I think, during Edison format or after Edison format, like, went to two because duality was just such a good card back then. And the same rule applies here to Prosperity. You know, Prosperity is just a disgusting card. And the fact, too, that we're getting a third reprint of this, I could see this going to one on our next list. Semi-limited Armageddon Knight. Um... I think that's at one here in the TCG too. I feel like that could come back to three. It wouldn't really matter. Um, maybe like outside of like Goki lines maybe, but Super Heavy Samurai bike to two, I guess. I mean, they don't want to straight up kill the deck by banning the Link Monster, unless they already did ban the Link Monster on like a previous list, but as far as I know, they haven't. Print Kids Meow Meow Moo to two and Block Dragon to two. Um, Block Dragon, I believe, was originally at one, I think, on their previous list or technically on the list that they're still on. Uh, Block Dragon and Meow Meow Moo are obviously still banned here in the TCG. I don't see these cards come back to the TCG anytime soon. You got to keep in mind that uh, OCG still has uh, Lawn Mowing Next Door. Uh, or in the Lawn Mowing Next Door. Well, yeah, that is the name of the OCG, but it's known as That Grass Looks Greener here in the TCG. So they kind of have things that they can play around with in regards to that. But, I mean, Grass should just stay banned. Um, same with Block Dragon and Meow Meow Moo. Uh, ain't nobody want to deal with that baby back bullshit. Uh, to three, Ancient Fairy Dragon, it's fine. Uh, Gazelle, cool. Saryuja Skuldred, I believe, was at one in the OCG for the longest time. And I remember people wanted Saryuja at one or even banned here in the TCG for a while. And now, like, Saryuja outside of, like, what, Dark World? It really doesn't do much of anything here in the TCG. So, yeah, like, have it at three. Why not? Uh, Telenite Ptolemus, sure. Steam the Cloak, sure. Thunder Dragon Hawk, whatever. Tanky to three. Uh, th this is the new ultimate offering. Like back in the day, ultimate offering would have moved all over the balance from like zero, one, two, and three. This is the new ultimate offering. It just, the Tenki just moves all over the balance. Like during the summer, it goes to its vacation home in the semi limited list, and then it goes back to ban. Like it, it's just insane. And then Nadir Servant and Spellbook of Judgment to three. I mean, yeah, like Spellbook of Judgment. It's so weird to see a card like that. Just people just don't give a shit about it anymore. Like, compared to, like, 2013, which is just insane to think about. Overall, this list looks really good from the OCG. Um, I think that they hit a lot of good stuff. I think that they should have gone after the Super Heavy Samurai Link. If they haven't already, I don't remember what their previous list hit off the top of my head. I believe that the Link for Super Heavy is still legal in the OCG. Um... And again, like with the monkey board stuff, maybe we'll see some performer pal stuff move off of our next list to push Age of Overlord. If not, maybe at some point down the road, they'll they'll bring that stuff back or hit it. Um, the Invoker thing is really interesting to see if anything's going to come of that. Um, Runic Fountain and Prosperity to one. I mean, I think Runic is really just dead now. Like you can maybe still play it as like a sub engine, but like I think pure Runic is just not the way to go, Sugar Boo Bear. Like, you mean to tell me you're going to play pure fucking runic with one fountain? Like, bro, I mean, eh, if you're in the OCG, you, you finna be on the struggle bus, homie. I mean, it's a good list. I think that um, Konami, OCG, they, they did good. I think that their player base is going to like this. And if you do play in the OCG, let me know uh, what you think about this list. I think that the implications this has for the TCG uh, are a lot. Uh, I mean, we already talked about Fenrir. Um, I don't think we're going to see Sleepy get hit here. We might see Invoker come back. I'm sure the secondary market has already just crapped all over the floor with all of the buyouts on all this stuff here. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.